In your education news tonight, Ector County ISD leaders announced that the district officially owns the properties for the new Midland School and CTE High School. The schools are being built as a part of 2023's bond referendum that passed in November. Signs are now up at the site, signaling the home for the new schools. Dr. Mary spoke today regarding the future for these schools. Today is a huge milestone because you know, we were standing on property that we own, you know, we, I think back several years and, and these were dreams, you know, we dreamed of building a new career and technical education facility and dreamed of a new middle school in the western part of our county. Our, our students deserve this opportunity, you know, they deserve state-of-the-art facilities and they deserve to have access to the latest and greatest, if you will. And we'll provide our students and really members of our community with state-of-the-art access to facilities to equipment that will truly prepare them for the world of work and beyond. And Both schools are still in the design phase right now. Groundbreaking is currently scheduled for January of 2025. We're also told that the CTE facility, in addition to serving 2400 ECISD students, will also operate overnight with Odessa College. The new middle school is located over at South Trip and Huston in West Odessa, while the CTE High School will be on East Murphy, just east of the intersection with Meadow. And in other education news, Midland ISD has released star test assessments from spring of this past school year. And it turns out Midland students saw testing improvements for two out of the five different tests. That's English 2 and Biology 1. English 1 and Algebra 1 saw no change, while there was a 6% decrease in the percentage of students meeting grade level standards for U.S. history. That went down from 63% to 57%. And MISD Superintendent Dr. Stephanie Howard said, quote, while we are not where we want to be, we are making progress, end quote. These end-of-course assessments allow the district to determine what needs to change to improve student performance.